How are you doing today guys? Welcome back to my channel and to episode 2 of my series on Total War Rome 2. <clears throat> so if you watched the first one, then as you will recall, we just took Ariminum uh, in a very easy battle. So now we need to decide how are we going to deal with this army here. Uh, it's a little bit too strong of an army for either of these legions to go take it on their own, but however, if we let him attack Rome, uh, we'll have the garrison of Rome, plus we have the 4th legion on, back here, we'll be in position to reinforce. So I'm not really eager to take any offensive action against this guy, if he wants to come at Rome, that's fine. I have a very high confidence we would win that battle. Uh, now, the question is, is do I want to have the first legion move around from behind and try and take uh, the last three and then move on this army or... I mean, I don't think it makes sense for them to come around here back towards Rome because I'm afraid he would sneak back that way and retake Ariminum. I mean really I'm not sure if I want to get too far away from Ariminum no matter which way I go because he might be able to sneak in just go across Rome and go up that way. Uh, one thing I might be able to do to prevent... okay now see actually this river is apparently that is not fordable up here, so he would have to come around this way. So, what I will do is I will move the 4th Legion there to block that path just to make sure he can't slip by there without engaging them. So if he tries to move through there, he'll have to fight all three of these guys. Uh, which is the 3rd, the 4th Legions, and the Garrison of Rome. So that should leave me an open path to just go around the back door here. Uh, but I will have my spy go and look a little bit further just to make sure. Oops. As you can Sure enough, I don't see any other opposition here. Oh, you know what, I guess, yeah, that's right, I guess I didn't end the turn after he took our Araminum. So, he has no movement points right now. Uh, let me see, have I done any troop training? doesn't look like it. Oh, well, for now, let's focus on Actually, reinforcing on. these guys since they're the most likely to face uh, heavy combat. Study for Ready him. For uh, I'll get some more light infantry Are for you ready him. To serve Rome? <clears throat> At your command. Uh, and let me see, yeah, let's go and reinforce these guys a little bit too. Um, fight for Rome! Alright, I think that's probably all we're gonna do for this turn. I do have some options here, however, as to building. Hmm, Sydney Wolf from shipping for a human. Let's go ahead and do that. Alright, so now let's end turn. Let's see if he's got the guts to attack Rome. And actually that does need to be one of the next steps, is building up the fleet a little bit more just to try and get a... Uh, a fleet large enough to try and 
get a landing force to Alalia. And they've got some ships over there on that side of Italy, but I don't think they have any real troop strength there with them. Uh, let me see, they discovered my agent, not too worried about that, completed a shrine, and there's our quartermaster report. So what did they do? They didn't do anything, they just sat there. Okay. So he is not quite going to be able to make it all the way to Velathri in one turn, but get pretty close. So yeah, I think that's a good idea, just continue to march. I'm gonna have him stuck in those trees over there, I'm hoping that'll give him some concealment, maybe they won't realize he's there. Oh, actually, I forget, actually, I don't think it works that way in this game, I think anything within your province is visible, but I can't remember for sure about that. Oh, uh, let me see, do, 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 do. what do I want here? Well, before I do anything else, I think I'm going to raise another legion here in Araminum. Uh, no, I don't want to lose five senators. I don't really don't want to lose four. Well, I guess that's the only choices I have to have to lose four or five senators either way. Okay, so I'll just take him. Do 
Now, see, I'm not 100% sure. I think if he engaged us out there, I don't think the garrison from Velathri would be able to support him, so I'd give us a fairly good chance. Now, if the garrison does come out, I'm not sure if these two could win that fight. But if they don't, we should tear him up really bad and make him easy pickings for these guys. Either way, or if he goes that way, and engages him, then it should open the door wide open for these two. So I think he's fairly well screwed no matter what he does. Uh, then let's try and continue building up reinforcements for these guys. Maybe they'll be able to come help too. <clears throat> and I could continue training more troops for this guy. Might as well do that, just to see if we can get some more reinforcements before whatever coming engagement happens. And then we need to do a uh, technology here. Yeah, right, so I've been kind of focusing on military so far. Training forms, two minus the cost, so it's mostly a cost thing. Missile damage. Uh, that's not bad. Uh, what about siege stuff? Eh, for now, we'll go ahead and just try and we'll start get something to reduce the military costs going here. As I anticipated, the garrison is not coming out to support him. Now, I think probably the reason why it gives us such a poor chance is I don't think it's counting my reinforcements. Because when you count the reinforcements, we're actually about even numbers. But you could definitely make a case that with all his ranged units he might have an advantage and I think his melee units they might be comparable to mine as well. Matter of fact and they're probably better than these guys. So this is gonna be a pretty tough fight. Uh, let me see where am I in this battle. into the video, so I don't know, depending on how long this takes, this might wrap up the video, but we'll see. Mm, 
this looks like it's going to be a highly wooded area, which doesn't necessarily make it easier. I'm not sure if that helps me or them more. Might help me just because I'm on the defensive and they're going to have to move to meet me. But then again, most of my troops are moving in to reinforce, so they're going to have to form up together. Okay, so their deployment is over here. Now, actually, am I reading that correctly? Is that saying that? Is that the direction my reinforcements are coming from? If my reinforcements come in from that direction, it might make things a little bit chaotic. Because if that's correct, they're going to be coming in from approximately behind the enemy. Which possibly could be a good thing. However, it also possibly could mean that they will get to engage my forces one at a time instead of together. So then, the gods test us once more. Okay, so they're coming at to reinforce my primary force. Oh, why ain't they changed altogether though as soon as they saw them? So now it looks like they're turning the other way. Better these guys. Okay, so they're not, they don't appear to be in a hurry to engage either of our forces, which is a good thing. If they were, they might be able to take advantage, but it looks like they're being cautious. So that means the go-to game plan for me then would be to slowly move up and engage them and try and, and distract them from this direction while these guys come in from behind. And it looks like they appear to be more eager to come and engage my larger force anyway. Move out. though because with all of their ranged units they could our pick hidden up units have been discovered my infantry a little bit sons of Mars hold man Advance at speed! By your command! For the gods! Jupiter gives us strength! LA troops! Break the lines! We have discovered the enemy's hidden units! Men are wavering. Forward, Commander! At the devil! Glory 
to Rome! Withdraw! Our men flee the field of battle! This is a shameful display. Well, no, that's not looking that well. They may have moved quickly enough, even if they weren't in that big of a hurry. These guys just can't quite get there quick enough. Unit has perished. Orders understood. The fire on the enemy. Now, unfortunately, these guys they may be a little bit tired by the time they get here. Our men flee the field choice. of battle. This is a shameful display. Men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. Yeah, right. So this may give us our general is under attack. A boost here. I don't know if it's going to be enough of. Field of battle. This is a shameful display. Guys, out here, they're in combat. <clears throat> yeah, 
Yeah, so it looks like we're probably gonna lose this one, but I think we've done very heavy casualties to them. Well, they've just gone ahead and go ahead and engage there, so they're gonna give me an opportunity to come back. Our men the field of battle. This is a shameful display. And maybe I can get another charge in. Have been discovered. Okay, just go ahead and finish the archers. General! Our men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. Engage! If I can get them and Gauge and I can get my cavalry to make a charge in. These guys look like they're coming right in after them, too. Right out. So they're not going to get much time. Riders, forward! Field of battle. There's this not enough chance battle. of any kind of victory left here. So well, I might as well just try and get out of here with my generals. And maybe I can get this unit of infantry to the edge of the map. These guys, I'm assuming they will withdraw back to Rome. 
so they should be good. Disengage! Gathering Fall back! And he withdrew somewhere, so I still might have to fight what's left of them. At the city, though, unfortunately. And alright, then we did get some construction, finished the ship right near a minimum, treat gained, respectful. And we got some new troops, which I believe that's who that's for this guy, 5th Legion. Alright, so let's use my spy trying to discover. Oh, that's interesting. So it looks like they want to sneak over here and try and retake care of Minim. Now, I, I don't think I'm even going to buy that. I think I'm just going to attack Valar 3 and I'll take a chance on Araminum. So, yeah, they... I mean, they might have a chance at Araminum, but personally I think I'd have a very good chance of defeating them there, though. So to me it's more important to take their immediate source of unit replenishment away from them. This, once again, it looks like this would be like Araminum. This would be such a crushing victory. I don't think I'm, this time I'm not even going to take the time. Let's just auto-resolve it. Uh, aggressive stance. So, we lost 100 men, so we did very well. At your command. General, he's got a treat, well, he's actually, he's got, uh, I forget one of these are treats, and all it's called something else. Uh, yep, formidable fighters, three damage inflicted by all melee units, that's good for pretty much any army. So it looks like we've got some construction we could do here in Velafri. Uh, I kind of want to go for something that's going to give me some extra happiness. Mm, shrine is always good for that. This would create me some extra wealth, though. Yeah, let's go with that for right now. I'll probably add another shrine in there later. So now the question is, is what is this guy going to do? First of Ready all, okay. So that is what I'm going to do, is I'm going to move the remainder of the 4th Legion, which, yeah, it's not much, but... It's something, so if they attack down there, they'll have reinforcements. And this guy being as chewed up as they are, he's got the 5th Legion, the remnants of the 4th, plus whatever garrison I've got in the air of men on that, I think has a very good chance of being all I would need. Because he's just so chewed up. Now then, in the meantime, what have I got left here? This third legion was the larger of the two. Oh, I that lost that battle. I think I'm just going to let him sit in Rome for at least a turn. Try and get some replenishment going on his units. And I think I might as well let's get some more unit recruitment as well. Okay, there we go. FPS took a vacation there for a second. 
and we'll try and get these guys just to recruit some units and maybe they'll get reinforced before he shows up. I mean, in my opinion, in all likelihood, he probably is going to advance on air a minimum because, I mean, it would pretty much be a total waste of his army to attack, go back and attack us at Val 3, because First Legion, that's almost completely intact. Well, unless he tries to sneak around to the sea and retreat to Alalia, which honestly, that's probably, that would be the most sensible movement he could make. But he probably should have did that in the last turn instead of moving in this direction. So now he's got... Even if he wanted to, I'm not sure if he could make it to the sea in one turn. We might have a chance to catch him even if he tries to do that. But in any case, I think that's where we'll leave that battle. And if you enjoyed this... Well, go ahead and give it a like. Maybe if there's uh, anything you notice about it, maybe give it a comment. Thanks for watching.